Hey there, you guys. Welcome back to another unboxing, or I guess it's a couple or two or three unboxings. Um, I've got two new companies today, and if I can, if it goes well, I'm going to tack on my Candy Panda order. What happened with that was I unboxed it already, and I was in such a hurry, and it, the video was such a hot mess. Um, I hope I don't have to post that one for you guys, and I can just add it on to the end of this video. I was, I was just in such a hurry, and it was just it was awful. So um, I hope I can just add that, and um, we can do all this together at the same time, because it's just kind of almost a repeat kind of order. Um, and you guys have seen me open them before. But anyway, um, let's get to these boxes. Um, okay, so let's do um, let's do this one first. This one is from um, this one's from Little Olive Tree. I'm going to move this one out of the way. Okay, so this is my second order from Little Olive Tree, and this one I don't know if you remember or if you saw my last video, but I ordered a bunch. Um, a good half a dozen waxes from them, the little pots, and I got a sample of sugar scrub, and then I got a full-size sugar scrub, and so what's happened this week is that she has her, um, summer line 30% off, which is incredible. That is a great, great sale, and obviously she's trying to clear out, um, her old stock, and obviously she's probably getting some new holiday stuff in and some new um, fall seasonal stuff in. But anyway, so I was like, oh my goodness. So this is what I got. And you can't miss a sale, right? Especially when you just are in love with the products. Okay, so thought I'd try some more sugar scrubs. Oh, look, it's a card. That's so sweet. Okay, let me look at this real, real quick. So I did just open these boxes, but I haven't looked in them yet. She says, thank you for another order. It's greatly appreciated. Enjoy your goodies. XOXO Jen, and that is her name. She is the owner of the company. And I've got my invoice right here. Okay, so I can look at that. And I do have my notes here, so hopefully I can tell you guys what I got without any problems. Okay, so I think this is, this is probably the right way. Okay, so this is the top of the box. Very nice, very nice little package. Oh yes, she gives you the candy. My son loves this, so he loves the little lo lollipops and the gum. Okay, so, um, okay, let's start with this. This is the reorder. Now, this is the second one that I've gotten of, um, oh no, the little spoon is broken, Oh. Oh, that's okay though. I've already got one, and they probably they probably all come with spoons. But oh, that's so sad. Um, okay, I'm just gonna take this off. But anyway, um, this is the illegally blonde two scent, and it's got um, it's got several different notes in it. It's got the iced champagne, raspberry, strawberry, grape candy, and bubble gum. But if you ask me, it smells like grape bubble gum and that might not sound like something that you would really enjoy, but let me tell you, it is mouth-watering and it's absolutely delicious and she's got a great, great sugar scrub. So, I already have a full-size one of this, so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this one. Um, I may give it away as a gift. Um, I'm not sure yet, but but I mean, 30% off? I mean, come on, I had to get another one. Because if I didn't, I would have probably regretted that. Okay, so next. I got Under a Spell. Ooh, that's pretty. Okay, and this one is scented in Love Spell. Okay, now it's funny because I just <laughs> I just did a demo in the Love Spell scent and I said, I've never tried that scent before. So, okay, so I guess I'm in a Love Spell, um, you know, state where I'm just doing a lot of love spell. Um, so I just did experience that for the first time today. Um, and this is love spell with lavender and cotton candy. So, oh my gosh, that's, oh my goodness. So I thought, okay, well I'll try that. And um, with lavender and cotton candy, I mean, you can't go wrong with that, right? Look, isn't that, mm, that looks really, really good. Okay, so there's my second sugar scrub. And then I've got, oh my goodness, these little spoons. This one got detached too. I think they just kind of 
flopped around in the box because it wasn't, this box is a little bit big maybe for what was in here. Um, okay, so this one is Pillow Talk, and this one is Lavender, Pink Sugar, and Marshmallow. And I will get to it in a second with my Candy Panda wax order, what my favorite scent is in wax right now. But this is very, very similar. So um, I'm really excited about this one because I'm just in love with Lavender and Marshmallow right now. But I will, I will let you guys know. I'm not going to take up all the time to just open these and show you and all that right now. Because I've done that before and I'm not going to keep you all day. Okay. Next. Okay. Next I have Pillow Talk because I thought I would love this scent so much. I got this in a bath soak. So it's kind of a crumble. It says buttermilk. Ooh. That's cool. Buttermilk powder, baking soda, polysorb, and fragrance. Okay, this little spoon made it. So that's going to be nice. So I can soak in the lavender and marshmallow. Okay, so that'll be nice. So I'm excited about that. And all these were like crazy, crazy on sale. Now, she still does have that sale going on. Now, I don't think, I don't know, this one might still be on there. I don't know if any other of these scrubs, she does still have a few scrubs on there, but I don't know if any of the ones I ordered are on there still, but she does have some bath soaps. She has some whipped soaps on there in these fragrances, I think, and um, she does still have some wax. So um, go run and see still what she has left for that crazy sale price. Okay, and she did put a few a little samples in here, looks like. Ooh, okay this, okay, this is another sample. This is the Fairy Explosion. She does have the Fairy Explosion scent, I think, left in the, maybe the scrub and the whipped soap. This whipped soap. Let's see. I think this is like cotton candy. Yeah, this is, this is, this smells like Snow Fairy to me. This is what this smells like. That's, it's very sweet. So if you like Snow Fairy, this is exactly what this smells like to me. Okay. So that was nice of her to add that in there. Okay, and what is this? Um, lemon Twinkle. That's a cute name. Juicy Lemon and Golden Sponge Cake. Ooh, that sounds good. And I've already used the last um, sample wax melt that I've gotten from her. So, and it was good. Oh, here's another little spoon. Yeah, they just, they just kind of fell off. I think from the tape, the way they were taped on in this box. But anyway, so that is really, really nice order. I'm really, really excited to try those scrubs and her scents because I do really, really enjoy her scents. Okay, so I'm gonna switch and move these around a little bit. What does that look like? Okay, good enough. All right, now this one is from Southern Sky Beauty. Now, I have never ordered from this company either. And all I got from this company this time was a bath bomb that I saw on Instagram. And I just thought that it was so, so pretty. The, the, the color was so, so pretty. And this is my little invoice. And, but that it was such a cool bomb because it's a Halloween bath bomb. It is a coffin bath bomb. And who doesn't love a coffin bath bomb, right? Okay, let's see. Oh no, one of them's crushed. Okay, hang on one second. Um, this looks like it might be a bubble bar. It is, it's a bubble bar. Um, oh, I don't know what scent it is to tell you. I'll have to let you know. Unless it says, and I just can't read it. That far away. Okay, I'll have to let you know. Um, okay, so one of them got a little bit crushed. But <laughs> this is the one that I thought was just so, so cool. Okay, so this is the Midnight Magic Halloween Bath Bomb Coffin Bomb. And it is scented in Midnight Pomegranate. And that is a Bath and Body Works dupe. And that color I just thought was so, so pretty. It's gonna turn the water just this really, really pretty teal color. And of course you can tell it's just got all kinds of like silver glitter and shimmer on it. So, um, I don't know, is one of those bats loose too? I 
can't tell. But um, this is nine ounces and it's really nice size. So I got one also, and you're gonna start to see this in my orders like really soon, like really soon, um, that I'm gonna start stockpiling for my Halloween giveaway. So um, I don't know, I'm just gonna, I don't know, maybe I'll contact her about this, I don't know. We'll have to see. But um, anyway, so I got two, <laughs> and unfortunately one of them crumbled a little, but just on one side, so it'll be okay. But I think that's gonna make such a pretty color water, and the little bats on top are little soap, little pieces of soap. So um, I appreciate that. And then last we have, um, let me just move these to the side a little bit. So what we have last <laughs> is gonna be my candy pan to order for this month. And um, so I'll go ahead and tell you that I went ahead and ordered a couple of my favorite waxes because they were offered again. They just kind of offer different scents. It, you know, there's, I don't know that there's a rhyme or reason, but they're not always the same scents every month. And um, so I was able to get a couple of my favorites and then a bunch of new ones that I wanted to try. Um, so this is what I got. I don't know if this will fit on the table. I will try to see if it will fit. Okay. I don't want to knock anything else off. Ah. Okay. So this is my favorite one right now. I was telling you guys the lavender and the marshmallow is just like my favorite scent right now. And that is what this is exactly. It's just lavender and they call their marshmallow scent marshmallowine, like Halloween. And I'm in love with this. I've been melting it constantly and I just used my last one today, this morning. So um, I still need to let this cure at least another week. But um, I got three orders and they're little, they're five pots in like a quantity of one. So I have 15 of these little guys. Um, I got two and then there were still some available, so I went back in and I ordered a third one because just the pressure is still available, so you need to get it because you don't know when it's going to be offered again. And um, anyway, so I have 15. <laughs> I know that sounds crazy, but it's a fact. Okay, um, okay, I also got I Heard Your Heartbeat, and this is a new one to me. Um, this one is, let me see, I need to switch my notes. Okay, now this one is strawberry and marshmallow, and um, I've just really, really been liking strawberry lately, and it's exactly what it smells like. It's just, it's really nice and sweet, and it's not too much of one or the other, and I think that's going to be really, really nice. So, I have five of these. I also got the Cherry Fizzy Pop, and of course this is exactly what it sounds like. It smells like cherry soda. And I was also trying to describe to you guys the other day what this fizzy soda smells like, but it just, it smells like fizzy soda. It smells like carbonation, it smells like soda, cream soda kind of in the background, and it's just really weird. Until you smell it, it doesn't sound like something you can smell because Typically, it's kind of like a flavor, but um, I'm just really into anything with like a fizz in it right now. Um, any scent that I like with a fizz in the background now. So I have five of these. Of course, I like cherry, so you know that made sense to me. Um, okay, so this one is called Killing Me Softly. We have another song title there. And of course, this one, is um <laughs> again it's got um strawberry white cake and then fruit loops so we all know by now that i like the fruit loops and i'm liking the strawberry and with the white cake in there this one is really nice um i tend to think that fruit loops can get a little lemony and if they don't have Depending on the company and how they mix it and if they put any vanilla or any cake.
cake or any cereal, what they mix it with. Sometimes it can just get way too citrusy. Um, but so I thought this would be really good with the Fruit Loops. And if you add the strawberry and then add the sweet to it, this is really, really nice. So Killing Me Softly, I think, is definitely going to be a hit for me. I like that a lot. Okay. Now, okay, Marshmallowween. This is just the straight up marshmallow. And I got this because not I thought that I would like this by itself, but what I was thinking was if I get a, a scent, like a fruit that was too, like I had just mentioned, like the Fruit Loops, that was too strong in the citrus or the berry or whatnot that I could just cut it um, with the sweet because I'm just now realizing, okay, I'm getting to where, you know, I can start mixing my waxes and kind of customizing my own scents to how I might like them because I'm, I'm starting to get the hang of this melting thing. So I got five of these. Okay, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I also have, let's see, let's see. Okay, so they're all pink and they all look exactly the same in here. Um, okay. Strawberry soda. <laughs> yeah, these all sound the same, I know, but this one smells like strawberry soda. This one smells really, really good. Um, in another video, I was telling you guys that I had a really, really nice bath from a bath crumble from Visca, and this smells very, very much like that scent, and I really, really like this. Yeah, I, I'm really, really um, thinking I'm going to like this one. This actually smells like, I don't know, maybe it has a little bit more of the fizzy in the background than the cherry, I don't know. You can't tell until you melt them, I know. Um, there's one more, okay, there's one more in here. And it is, again, pink. Ah, oh. Hotline Bling. Okay, Hotline Bling is berry soda. Now, I didn't know exactly what that meant. Like what kind of berry, berry, hmm, okay, strawberry, cherry, raspberry. So um, the first time I sniffed it, I thought it's kind of a raspberry. Um, if I had to say what kind of berry it was, mixed berry, kind of something like that. Um, it's not such a departure, however, from the strawberry. But, um, you know, that's where you can kind of mix them a little bit. Um, so that'll be good. Um, yeah, I can mix it with several different things. So I won't even go into like the ideas I have. Okay, so now I'm gonna I'm gonna move this box back and show you just the last other couple of things that I have. Um, okay, so I got three sugar scrubs from Candy Panda, and I got the Black Hole Sun. And this one I got in the aloe lotion last month, and I was really excited about it because it smelled like sweet tart. Well, it was scented in sweet tarts and marshmallowine, and I think I even went as far as to say as if something is listed as scented in sweet tarts, then I'm going to buy it. When I got it, I wasn't really crazy about the scent, but I thought about it a while, and I sniffed it for a little while, and... I just, I just didn't think that it was going to be for me, and I knew that it was a really sought-after scent and lotion, so I went ahead and I put it on the D-Stash page, and somebody just picked it right up, and they were really happy to have it. This month, I thought, okay, well, maybe the scrub has a little different scent. You know, sometimes the same scent can be a little bit different in different kinds of product. So, um, yeah. <laughs> You know, I told you I already unboxed this once today, and that was terrible, and this one isn't really going much better. But um, anyway, also, this month they have different lids, these scrubs. And this, um, I said earlier, too, this one looks like it's kind of been gotten into already. <laughs> I think it's a different kind of lid, though. Um, 
this lid may be the original lid they had. Um, you guys watching it, if you've ordered from Candy Panda before, may know. Um, I've heard something about them switching out their lids. Um, this is actually a flip top. And the ones that I've had in the last month or two are just the screw off. Um, so anyway, I think that is the difference in the pour. But these may be their original lids. Um, so I don't know. I'm not sure that I'm, I like it. But anyway, I'm not sure that I like the scent. So this may not stay with me. I'm not crazy about it. I just don't think that this really smells like Sweet Tarts. Sweet Tarts is like my favorite candy. And that's why I like the scent so much. Um, I think it smells a little citrusy. I think it smells a lot like melon. Like a honeydew or a cantaloupe. I know that's weird, but... I don't think it smells like sweet tarts, and I don't pick up any kind of marshmallow or sweetness in it. So, um, somebody else may be getting this from me. Some lucky person who is looking for that. Um, this one I was really excited about because this is my um, other favorite wax from them. And um, just like with the Black Hole Sun, this one, I've I smelled it, and it smells just like the just peachy wax and it smells it's a great peach scent it's got like raspberry and strawberry maybe a little vanilla in it but it seems to have some kind of plastic or synthetic little background a little note in it that i just i can't i don't know that i'm gonna get past i may um my other ones i let sit i let them out a little bit i don't know i kept coming back to them and i just don't i did couldn't get past that so i just don't know that I'm going to be able to keep this one either, which is, I don't know how I feel about that because I love this peach scent. Now, this last one is Little Bo Peep. Little Bo Peep. And this one I ordered um, wax in. I ordered the wax the very first time I ordered. And I did end up keeping the wax. I don't know why. I think I, I should have kept it. Um, I think maybe I was just expecting something different. This scent is Fruit Loops and Marshmallow. I know everything has marshmallow in it, which is why I got that wax. Um, I think I was just expecting something different. Anyway, um, I wish I had kept that wax. I used one little pot of it, and I mixed it with, I think, my peach wax. And I ended up really liking that mixed with um, the peach but anyway, um, so I opened this one and I smelled it earlier today and see all these pores, they're a little low. I'm sure that's just probably the way they have to do it. And this is so good, so good. It smells just like you would think that it would. It smells like the Fruit Loops, it's got the sweetness in the marshmallow and I don't smell anything but the scent, it's so weird. This company is just very, very perplexing to me because I think they have great products. I like the scrub, but for some reason, some of these scents just do not work for me. I don't know why. Anyway, um, I'm just stumbling through these unboxings. I don't know why. I just get rambly, I guess. Um, it is getting a little bit late. Anyway, um, I think that's all I got. Oh, I did get... Um, I did get um, two samples, two sample waxes. Um, I got focus poisoned apples, which eh, I can kind of I pick up the apple, but it's a little perfumey for me. Um, and then also it came with a blackberry sage, and this one smells pretty good. It smells like blackberry and probably sage, but um, it's just a, it's a nice scent. I like it. Um, I'm just not really good at describing scents, but I do like this one. Um, so yeah, this is everything I got. You guys, um, I'm going to be getting so much stuff in. Oh, my gosh. I have ordered so much stuff lately. It's not funny. I'm trying to prepare for this Halloween giveaway. And what I'm going to try and do is during the month of October, I'm going to try and do a demo a day, a Halloween demo a day. I really want to do that because there are so many cool Halloween products 
bath bombs, bubble bars, whatnot out there. I just don't know how I can get them all done if I don't do one a day. And I'm going to do like a 31 days of Halloween or 31 days of horror or something like that because I just want to. But I think it's probably going to run me into the ground because I really try to fit so much into this kind of stuff. Um, so I'm going to be unboxing a lot and I'm going to be making a big giveaway stash. Um, so anyway, be looking for that. Thank you for staying with me through this unboxing, like I always tell you guys. And um, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments. I will have all of these companies listed down below. And um, I'll just see you back here for the next demo. And message me on Instagram anytime. I'm on Instagram all the time. And a lot of you guys, I do talk to you on Instagram. Um, a good bit so if you ever feel like you want to discuss anything with me or ask me a question um, it is kind of easier to talk to me on Instagram so just um, I don't know just wanted to throw that out there okay so I will see you guys next time thanks for watching have a good night